All right, it's me hanging them high and thing here. And we wanted to show you my sandals that I wear. These are my mountain hardware. They're down and they're made out of that stuff that sleeping mats are made out of. So it's super light. You know, I think it's called the uh, Enso light or something. Close cell. Put that on there and they're at eight ounces each. So it's a pound for the whole pair. Okay, now here are my Nikes that I wear, and you can wear them with socks, and uh, they're six ounces each, and you notice this stuff here, like the microfiber in them, it uh, doesn't last too long, okay, but these had just the right amount of thickness here for walking in stones and everything and by wearing slides like I said you can wear socks and this can be adjusted to your width of your foot and this shows you that this left foot was starting to nose dive into there so if you have dysfunctional feet you probably can't wear slides so now these are my uh, a better version see because it doesn't have that uh, microfiber crap that wears out in no time and but the only problem with these things these are so thin like right there on the heel I bet it's no more than an eighth of an inch thick so when you walk like like that you know what I mean your feet you'll feel it going right through your bones so it's not these aren't so good on uh, stones so these weigh out really light I'll bet you yeah four ounces so Make sure you wear your Crocs now, too, because your Crocs starter that I've been wearing, these are 2012 model. You notice they have the same crap that they were using back then, except the Nike's a little thicker. The reason why I bought these Nike's instead of these, because I bought them in the wintertime. I'm telling you, I wear socks with these and walk around in the wintertime right outside to get the mail and all. Yes. What do these starters weigh? 4.65, so yeah, they're lighter than the Nikes too, and they have just a good enough sole as uh, the Nikes, which are size 13, and these are size 10. I mean, it's both the same size though. So you gotta be skeptical about those people that say, oh, look at this, it's a perfect fit, you know? What is a perfect fit? You don't even tell us how big your feet are. Now these here, you can see I never wore them because they have this crazy interior that the Crocs have. And even with socks on, it's like walking on a bed of nails. I don't like them. Again, they're size 11. So let's weigh one of them up. There. Let's weigh one of these up. Now these are heavy, they're too thick. See, they're like almost as much as the, the, uh, where are they at? the Nikes there. The Nikes are six ounces. And these freaking things are 740. So, yeah, they're as heavy as these things. I mean, these things are for like minus 30. So, yeah, these are eight ounces. So... If you're going to carry something, don't carry these. They're way too thick. These here are perfect. They have like a cup in them so inside there that your foot sits down inside. Like I said, see, they're ensolite in there. And it's you can feel it's cupped, see, right to there. So your foot rests in there nice. And you can walk right in the snow with these when you're camping. They're beautiful. It's the way to go. So you see what I'm saying, they're made out of this stuff here, this Insulite sleeping pad material. Dude, obviously, this, I never used this ever in my life, see? Because obviously, they're the funniest videos you ever saw, because you don't make funny videos on YouTube. Nobody does but me, right? So far, we're down to these for the most ultra-like sandals, see? Like, that's eight ounces for the pair, which uh, pretty sure your Crocs ain't that uh, light. See, I'll, show, I'll prove it to you. There's both of them. See, 8.10, 15, 8 point, 
15 ounces for both of them see so I wouldn't really wear these outside though you get too ultra light you won't be able to leave your tent now these here are the stuff that Crocs are made out of, like this plastic. These are military sandal shoes. Again, and they say, see, size 12. But they're no bigger than the size 10s from Walmart. Those are like, see, probably with your Crocs weigh 10 ounces a piece. <laughs> for a total of 20.30 ounces for both of them. I bet your Crocs even weigh more than that. The point I'm making is, these same ultralight people that are dictating and telling you what you should carry, you know, they turn around and they walk around with some freaking Crocs that weigh like three times what my sandals weigh. Yes. Probably they do. These aren't Crocs. So yeah. Please, no, no uh, crocodile tears. Now these here are the same as these. But they're not. I mean, they're going to give you the same problem these do by wearing all this microfiber out. And they're made out of this same type of plastic that the military shower sandals are made out of. By the way, made in China. And, uh, yeah, when you walk on these, you're real thin. This is only probably an eighth of an inch, this whole sole. Even though it looks like it comes up to here, it doesn't. It's, it's, uh cupped your foot's cupped in there that's just the whole foam which gets soaking wet these don't get soaked because they're made out of the closed cell what did i say these are open cell right these are close they soak up water and the closed cell doesn't soak up water so if you're going to walk at the beach you do want these closed cell that brings me to the newest sandals i got from walmart i went out there and I saw they had these Andy sandals that are called After Dark Dunks for 15 bucks a pair. But again, the freaking soles are thicker than these. And you think that might not make a difference, but it's just like, uh, say, those gun channels are trying to tell you. You know, that just a little bit of difference makes you like you're on high heels and you're going to twist an ankle when you're out in the woods or at the beach or wherever you don't want to twist an ankle. Again, you can see these don't have this product on top that's going to deteriorate they're made out of the whole close you know self stuff so let's weigh these up let's weigh the whole pair up what the hell you can see i still have them tied together and i bought two pairs of these because they're sold out at walmart i hate that shit when it shuts off and these are weighing in at Perfect. I'm very happy with that. See? They're weighing in at 10, 10 and a half ounces for two of them. And these things are much better at walking on stones. So, yeah, most people prefer my way of ultralight camping. Rather than get something like this, see, rather watch. 5.35 ounces rather than get something like that and get something like this which is like an ounce 0.35 lighter and you can't walk on the rocks and it's going to hurt your feet and these are after hiking shoes you know after dinner shoes you know walking on the beach they might be all right but uh, these have just enough amount of foam and not too much that it's not going to feel those rocks or roots around camp. So I recommend these since they're only $9 a piece, but you have to order them now because I'm not the only one in this country that's smart. Everybody bought these right out in the store in the size 10, 11s. You'll find size 8 and, and size 13, which nobody wears in this store. But uh, yeah. And I want to admit, to, I don't know if I told you, you can wear socks with these when your feet get cold. So if you're going to wear them in the morning and stuff before you start hiking, all your toes will get that air. Like if you have blisters or something, you'll be fine. So I, I recommend these right here over all. Especially those funny guys. You want to see some funny videos, watch people carrying their Crocs like this. You know, on the back of their backpacks. Go, yeah, man, I'm cool. I got freaking, 
you know, two pounds worth of these after hiking shoes that are made out of this annoying plastic stuff because I got gnarly toes and I don't want you to see my gnarly toes. So you have to wear them too, even though I don't have gnarly toes, you know? So I also seen at Target, they got champion sandals there that are slides. But they're not as nice as these. Again, you'll see the champions have this crappy stuff in them that's all going to wear out and get wet. Whereas these won't. So let's go outside and walk into stones with these just to prove it. Alright, this is the water rock test here. So, like I said, these are real thin. Man, can you feel that rock instantly? Well, these are my winter shoes that don't matter. You'll be walking on snow. I got it on the wrong foot anyway. But yeah, they really, you can't even feel that rock. So, obviously you don't want to get those wet down. Let's see. That's close cell. So you'll be walking around in close cell, which will deteriorate real fast when it's wet. Which isn't a good idea. Now, there's that rock again. See, so I found out these, doing the rock test, they were the best. Also, they're completely, like I said, you can walk right through the rain with them. But you know, the best way to hike, if you're going to have to hike with sandals, is to wear those Teva uh, river sandals. But they have their problems too. Now... Here's the Nikes. Again, right, that stuff on the top. That's probably why they deteriorated. Because this stuff is like open cell, a thin layer of open cell. And when it gets wet, it wears out super fast. Now these are those ones with those funny crock bumps on it. Obviously they're completely waterproof. And but they are very annoying with the, you know, all those bumps and stuff. Okay, so I'm right back into these. Now these here are your Penn State logos that you pay a lot of money for, you can see. They're completely waterproof too, because they don't have any of that closed cell foam or that microfiber on them. And here's that rock again. Put it right there. And here I have this sandal here, the starter. And then we'll step right on that. You can feel that. You can, oh my God, if you do that with your heel, that hurts like hell. And then you can see, if you do it with this heel, it don't hurt at all. And you don't feel the rock. So, these starters here for eight dollars are far superior for just about anything you do. These are shower shoes. The original Vietnam. So maybe that brings back some memories. Okay, you wonder why I make these videos and nobody even watches them. Oh, the corporations watch them, believe me. You're just nobody, that's why. See, so I just wanted to show you corporates. This is the only place that tears out right here. See, it starts right here. I tore that myself. You can see that's a fresh where I just yanked it like this. See, showing you that these are exactly the same as these. I bought two pair online because Walmart had sold out of them because, like I said, everybody knows they're the best. So, why did I buy two pair? Because I had to end up buying these in the winter time from some place like Amazon for like $40. You see that? Look. You can see the water that they retain. You don't want that. See this? There's no water retaining in them. Like I said, they're the most ultimate backpacking shoes you can get for around, this, you know, your tent. So, what this video is about is it's about throwing these out, throwing these out, and I have another pair. Just gonna throw them out. See, good riddance. Yep. Remember, make sure they're made out of this closed cell, super light camp foam stuff.